small talk. Many business professionals feel uncomfortable making small talk in English, but it's a really important skill if you want to grow your business, build connections, and get those opportunities. You know, in English we say it's not what you know, it's who you know, and small talk plays a big part of that. So today you're gonna increase your small talk skills in English by learning how to talk about a fun, light, and popular topic of small talk, your favorite TV show. Let's go. Hi, I'm your English coach, Christina, and welcome to Business English with Christina, where you become better at business while becoming better at English. Did you know that a lot of advanced English speakers and native English speakers actually sometimes have quite a difficult time making small talk? Yes, even we native speakers, we need to work on our small talk skills also. And that's especially important if you are an entrepreneur, a business owner, or anyone who has to do any kind of networking to grow your business. Today, we're gonna focus on just one great business communication, small talk skills strategy to help you improve your confidence when you're making small talk. So what is this one strategy? Asking more questions than you answer. It'll help you build great connections, I promise. Your goal is to ask questions about your conversation partner, but without getting too personal. And so a favorite TV show is a great topic. You know, a lot of people watch TV or they have their favorite shows or maybe even movies. They can share something personal, but not something that's too personal or private. Now, remember in small talk, your goal is to find common ground or things that you have in common and to create rapport to strengthen your business relationship. And you do this by showing interest in the other person by asking questions and making small talk. You know, some people might recommend like a basic question like, Yeah, and so that's that's what our company does. Oh, okay, interesting. And have you seen any good TV series lately? Um, yeah, um, Stranger Things. But, I mean, that just sounds kind of random if you're not already talking about the subject of TV. We can do better. You know, most people enjoy it when we listen to their advice, when we ask them for advice, and we put them in like a position of authority. Okay, we're just talking about TV. It's not like geopolitical strategy or anything, but still, it's always nice when someone asks us for our advice. For example, you know, I just finished a really great series and I'm looking for a new one. Um, any recommendations? A lot of times, if you're working in an international context, you'll meet people from other countries and other cultures. And one way that you can build a connection with them, making small talk about an easy topic like TV, is to ask them about TV shows from their country. For example, Wow, I've always wanted to visit Brazil. Um, do you know any good TV series that take place there that I could watch? You know, I'm a learner language coach, and so I know how important it is for you to practice little by little, but over a regular period of time. And one of the best ways to do that is in our Faster Fluency Conversation Club, where you can talk about the topics from these video lessons with people all over the world so that you can practice your small talk skills, become more confident, have more vocabulary, and get to know people from lots of other cultures. Uh, the link to learn more about the Faster Fluency Conversation Club is down below the video, and I hope to see you there. Now, when you're making small talk, you don't wanna just ask one question and then that's the end of the conversation because that kills the conversation and you don't wanna do that. So you want to ask follow-up questions to continue to develop the conversation, to make more connections with the person, to find those things that you have in common. And here are some ways that you can ask follow-up questions. If the person that you're talking to tells you about a science fiction show that they like, you can ask something like, that sounds really interesting. Are you a big fan of science fiction? 
You can also ask the person to share what they really like about the series. You know, I've never seen Downton Abbey, but everybody tells me I should watch it. What do you like about it? And, you know, when you're asking for um, advice on shows to watch or they're telling you about shows that they like, if you have already seen that show, then it's like high five yourself because that's a score. You have something in common with the person and you can build on that for your small talk conversation. And I got way too excited about that. Sorry. Anyway, here are some questions that you can ask. Oh, yeah, that is a great one. Who's your favorite character? Or, oh, I love that show too. What's your favorite episode? And, you know, these questions, they might take the other person by surprise. They might be like, oh, um, I don't know. That's okay, because it means that you've asked a question that is not like the typical you know, small talk questions that everybody expects. So it's okay if they're a little surprised and they take a minute to think about it because it means you're getting into the more interesting conversations in small talk. Now, maybe one of the reasons that you are a little nervous about making small talk in business situations is, well, not because you don't know what to say, although that might be part of it, but it might also be that you're afraid that you're not going to understand what the other person responds to you. And it's true that listening and understanding is a really, really, really important part of small talk and making connections. Okay, so here's a challenge for you. Let's say that we're at a networking event and you just asked me about what else? My favorite TV series, because that's the topic of today's lesson. And I'm going to give you an answer, like a typical answer, um, the way I would answer it, like if my friends or family asked me this same question. So very, very um, normal native speaker-like. And listen and try to see if you can catch four or five expressions for talking about TV shows. Are you ready? Here we go. Yeah, actually, I'm watching this um, series right now. I think it's called The Roman Empire, and it's like it's like part documentary, part TV series. Like you've got the action, you've got the conspiracies, you've got the betrayals, and all of that. And like it's really like as good as any fiction political thriller. Like honestly, there's another series that I really like. It's called Inventing Anna. And it's about this woman, this Russian woman, um, who pretends to be like this rich German heiress. And she ends up tricking like all of like New York high society. Um, she borrows tons of money from banks that of course she can never repay. And um, and then in the end she, she goes to jail for it and it's her story basically. And it's like, it's based on a true story. So did you catch some useful expressions for talking about TV shows? And did you catch the titles of the two TV shows that I talked about? Maybe you've heard of them or maybe you've watched them, but you can tell me in the comments on the blog because then we'll see that we've got something in common. And, you know, while you're over there on the blog, you'll be able to see the script, the transcript of exactly what I said there so that you can see, you know, you can check your comprehension skills, see how much you actually understood and maybe see if there were a few words that you didn't understand. Well, you can check them. So go over to the blog post and check that out and tell me if you've seen those series also. So there you go. Today you learned one strategy for making better small talk, asking more questions that you than you answer, and talking about the topic of your favorite TV show, your favorite TV series, whatever you want to call it. What's your favorite TV series? Tell me down in the comments below the video. Um, because like, yeah, honestly, I am looking for some, uh, interesting TV shows to watch because I am now, uh, going back and re-watching episodes of The Crown, which honestly is one of the best series I've seen ever. If you don't know it, go and check it out, but you can also share your favorite TV series with me in the comments.
Now, if this lesson was helpful for you, I would love to know, and there are three ways that you can tell me. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that I can continue sending you some business English lessons every week. You can, number two, go over to the blog post that goes with this video and you'll find a short quiz so that you can test yourself. And number three, you can watch this next video, which is going to give you some more vocabulary for talking about movies. Now, it's, it's kind of an older episode, but hey, it's um, the vocabulary hasn't changed in two years, I promise. Thank you so much for improving your English and your business with Business English with Christina, and I'll see you next time.